Today, Karen and I are going to be trying some various items. Three of them are from M&S. Uh, these were sent to us from Claire in Ireland, so thank you very much, Claire. I have the <coughs> M&S Scottish All Butter Home Bake Style Shortbread Squares, the White Chocolate Raspberry and Matcha Bar. And I have the new uh, Hazelnut and Cinnamon Latte Popcorn. And then we have uh, Maynard's Bassettes Jelly Baby Minis. Bassettes. Bassettes. I, I just say bassets. I, I'm sure Bassettes. that's wrong. Like a basset hound. I just say bassets. So, um, the, we're going to try the Scottish All Butter Home Bake Style Shortbread Squares first. It says delicious Moorish traditional style biscuits baked long and slow to give them a light and crumbly home baked taste. They look good. Are you expecting sweet or? I'm expecting sweet because it looks like there's a, a layer of sugar, of sugar on top. Well, it does say shortbread, so that's usually yeah, like, like a, a cookie. cookie. Yeah, like a, like a shortbread cookie. So it just says all butter Scottish home bake style shortbread squares, made in Scotland. So she sent them from Ireland, but they're made in Scotland by Marks and Spencer. It says they're 481 calories per 100 grams per square, it looks like, 481 calories. But that makes sense because they are thick. That would be good with tea. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Or touch drop. Suitable for vegetarians, it says. That's why I said it would be good with tea. Because but, it's it's dry to where you could put it in your tea. Mm -hmm. But it does have a very good buttery flavor. Mm-hmm. And not overly sweet, which is not a bad thing. It's just not. It's more like a, you buy the tins of shortbread cookies over here. Right. This is kind of like that, but just thicker. And I don't think that is quite as sweet. Uh-uh. It's, it's, it's missing a little bit of sweetness, but... That's the perfect square to put in your tea mm -hmm. and dunk it a couple times and then eat it. Mm -hmm. That would be delicious. Yeah, that's good. That would make that perfect. Okay. And this is the M&S new. <coughs> this is a new bar. White chocolate raspberry matcha bar for days when you need something sweet in for a treat. Now, it's 147 calories uh, for the whole thing. I need something sweet every single day. Yeah. Every single day I need sweet. And green. it is green, yes. Okay. AM? Do it say PM? Oh, it does! It said AM and PM on the squares. <laughs> as if I could say that. <laughs> I get the raspberry, but I really don't like that. No, that tea. It hits you. It's that match of tea. We didn't like something else that had match of tea. And someone said, someone commented to Tammy, yeah. you must have just got something bad. That's not what match of tea is. Match of tea is really good. Well, this reminds me a lot of that other match of tea, and we didn't care for it either. Yeah, it's I very don't. strong, very bitter. I don't taste any white chocolate in that at all. And I, I know it gets that obliviated. <laughs> I know that white chocolate in the United Kingdom it's isn't not it's not as sweet anyway. Mm -hmm. So I can understand how that tea would overpower that. What are you doing? There's a cat. Oh. Uh <laughs> yeah, I d I don't Claire, I'm sorry. I'm so glad you sent it to me because <laughs> I'd seen it on Instagram and it's new and I'm so glad I get to try it. I will share this with Christina because she, she likes, likes that tea, tea like. and stuff. That she likes the odd things like that. Yeah. Well, so, you know, a lot of people drink like green teas and stuff like that, and they're used to them. We're not used to drinking that not, kind of yeah. tea, so it's really, it's a really strong in-your-face kind of tea. It is um, that we're just not used to drinking. If you're used to drinking that kind of stuff, you'll probably love that because I did get a raspberry flavor. 
Right. But for me, the tea just overwhelms it. We buy like the English breakfast tea. Yeah. So it's very just regular tea. Regular tea. Yeah. yeah. That's or what Lipton. We, that's what we buy. <laughs> Lipton. Okay. This one is the uh, M&S. It's new. Um, hazelnut and cinnamon latte popcorn. I can't believe that small. It says air pop coffee and cinnamon flavor toffee coated popcorn tumbled in chopped hazelnuts and hand drizzled with Belgian white chocolate. So there's a lot going on. So coffee and cinnamon. So this should be good. Yeah, hazelnut. Yeah. So I can't wait to try this. Cinnamon and coffee. What does it smell like? Ooh, and white chocolate. Mmm. Yeah, wanna... she got the pieces really covered. I'm, I'm sure there's. I'm gonna keep going. There's some tons of them in here. Yeah, there's two, pieces. there's two pieces. I really taste that coffee. Mmm. Yeah, you do. It's so good. Mm. Yeah, it's good. You can really taste the coffee. I got a little bit of the cinnamon. The cinnamon's not really strong. Did you get hazelnut though? I really didn't get any hazelnut. I get a little bit of hazelnut, but it's mainly coffee. Mm -hmm. It's not bad coffee. It's it's a different coffee. But. And I, I think they were probably smart to do that from a business side because they put more coffee in there, and that's cheaper than yeah. hazelnuts and white chocolate. But this reminds me, um, you know, I get the Boom Chicka Pop, and it's a coated popcorn. Right. And they don't have this flavor, but this is the same thing it's the they're trying out the same thing is they're they're coating they're drizzling the white chocolate over the popcorn and uh, selling it that's very very good i hope you uh and your mom have tried this claire because that's good popcorn okay these are maynard's basis jelly babies minis uh you get uh it's it's 87 calories for six and how many do you get? One, two, three, oh. There's four flavors in here. And there's nine four, five, six, sweets. Seven, nine. nine sweets in the bag. And these are made in Dublin. So with the, the green one and the, I guess it's black or really dark blue, one of the two, we'll just have to bite them too. We'll bite it in half and there won't be a picture of the green right. and the black. Mmm. Mm, I like that texture. Love the texture. It's more of a... That is awesome. I bring this up all the time. That's more the texture of a Dr. Dreadful. Mm -hmm. Kind of gelatin. Kind of, it's, not a, it's not a gummy bear texture. No, it's not gummy. It's more of a gelatin texture. Yes. Because we've had stuff... There's some grit to it. Mm -hmm. But over in... It seems in Europe in general, they use the glycerin, glycerin strips. Right. Um little sheets and we don't we just don't I mean we have them here but we have you don't see recipes with that no you, you really do so not when we've eaten those. stuff that use that we eat and it's like this texture is weird very different because we're not used to and this that's what those taste like I love that that was a good lime a mm -hmm. lime no, flavor good. okay do, orange. You I, do you see the babies yeah. it does looks he have just a like belt a on it looks like this one has a belt on I don't know he's holding something I can't tell mmm that's a good orange. Mm-hmm. It's like orange slice of orange. I tell you what, if I if I see these next time we're over there, I'll have Got to buy bag. buy a bag. Yeah. Yeah, all the babies are doing something. They're different. doing something. But the details, I mean, it's all kind of um, it all kind of blends in. The orange was really good. Yeah, it looks like they have corn starch on the outside to keep them from sticking. That's that's good, but that's something different. That's not cherry. Like strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, that's strawberry. More of a natural strawberry. Mm hmm Okay, and I saved the, the purple one for last. Purple, black, I don't know what it is. That's that black currant. I don't care for the black currant. We've had black currant. None of the candy. Anytime we've had something from um, I think Canada or from um, overseas, they've had a black currant flavor instead of like grape. I would rather have grape 
or I would rather have anise. Now, Kevin wouldn't want anise, but I would rather have really grape great. or anise <laughs> uh, instead of black currant. But it seems like for some reason, black currant is much the popular more popular raisiny yeah. kind of flavor than. Um, so, uh, out of all of them, I probably eat the shortbread cookies the most, the best. I like that. Well, the jelly, oh, I, I those. like those too, but it's not. I like the texture a little bit at first, but then after a while, it gets kind of. Andrew would hate those. Andrew would probably, uh, yeah. Because he goes, ooh, they're all jiggly in my mouth. You know, that's what he, that's what he acts like. Kind of like a Turkish Delight kind of texture. That's what it reminds me of. And, it, right. and it's a little too mushy, squishy for me. I, I love mean, it's this. good, but it's, it's The weird. bad thing with me and these is if I bought a big bag, I would eat the big bag. Yeah. I, these would be gone in no time because they're that good yeah. to me. That it's I like just, gummy bears. You, I, I'd literally grab a hand, I had to quit buying them. Because I would buy, I would grab a handful and just go out there and eat them before snack time. Right. I would go out there like if we're gonna watch a show at eight. We usually eat it, snack at nine and ten. I'd grab a handful of them at eight, then eat a snack at nine, then eat another snack at ten, and it was like, right. wow, I'm just adding 300 calories to every every time every right. day. I'm getting an extra 300 calories, right. so I had to quit buying them because they were that good. Of the M and S things we tried, I like the popcorn. It's a little too coffee for me. Because but. it's sweet, it has the coffee, it has the white chocolate cinnamon, I like that. Uh, it's, but these the, are terrific. Out of the things we tried. Out of popcorn. all of this, I like these. Yeah, I like the shortbreads just because I like that flavor, that buttery flavor, but I'd have to add something to them. Either I do dip think them in a dunk them or something. with coffee, uh, yeah. with uh, tea. I ice really cream, do. Put ice cream on top of them. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'd have to add something to it to, to add some flavor to it, but it, they're, they're good too. Well, I'm going to have a picture for you at the end. It's not going to have the, the black currant and the lime, but it will have the uh, orange and the strawberry. You'll get to see those. And I'll have everything else. If you tried any of these uh, let us know uh, in the comments below and thanks for watching.